good students. I hope you guys are doing fine in your various homes. Uh, in our last class, we discussed uh, industrial chemistry, where we spoke extensively on the classification of industry. Today, we are going to continue from where we stopped. That is, classes of industry under industrial chemistry. Uh, at the end of this class, I expect each and every one of us to be able to classify chemical industries and uh, discuss the importance uh, of chemical industry as well as highlighting the problems associated with chemical industry. And lastly, explaining the factors influencing uh, or to be considered when you want to locate your chemical industry. All right, to start with, uh, what are the various classes of chemical industry? In our last class, we have actually mentioned some classes of chemical industries like heavy chemicals, fine chemicals, uh, ceramic industry, and the like. So just like I said, we are continuing from where we stop. The other classes of chemical industries based on the raw materials and their product. The first one is metallurgy. Metallurgy is the process of extracting metals from their ores. So any industry that deals with this process is referred to as metallurgical industry. And when you look at this industry, you can easily reference back to what we have learned under uh, metals and its compound, where we dealt uh, you know, extensively, uh, uh, where we discussed extensively on the extraction of metals from their ore. Take for instance, iron is extracted from its ore. What are examples of this ore? Iron pyrite, hematite, magnetite, and the likes. The same thing is also applicable to aluminum, extracted from ores like bauxite, corundum, and the likes. And this process also involves the refining of metals and production of alloys. Don't forget the meaning of alloys for special purposes. Let's look at the second uh, industry, glass industry. This is a type of chemical industry that uses uh, silicon four oxide. That is your, that's the chemical formula of a sand to produce glass. But mind you, Silicon four oxide is not the only raw material you use in the production of glass. We have raw materials like uh, sodium carbonate, we have limestone. So when all these things are heated together, they produce your glass. But mind you, anytime you treat your glass with what is called lead triazosilicate five, I mean four, uh, you discover that the end product of such glass is going to be hard glass. What are the importance of this glass we're talking about? You can use the glass in producing bottles, mirrors, uh, lenses, and fluorescent tubes. We still have some other areas where glass is of importance. Uh, let's look at the third one, plastic industry. The major, this is a type of industry that uh, helps in the production of plastic material. And the major raw material they use in this industry are petroleum and coal tar. Take note of those raw materials. And plastic is formed from polymerization reaction. We have discussed things about polymerization. The combination of monomers of compounds to form a complex polymer. Now, let's look at example of this, of plastic. We have polyethene. Polyethene is gotten from the polymerization reaction of two or more molecules of ethene to form polyethene. And this is what you use in producing bowls, buckets, bottle stoppers, and so on and so forth. Then we also have polychloroethane, and you can also call this polyvinyl chloride, that is your PVC. This is produced when you have polymerization of uh, chloroethane, that is monomers of chloroethane coming together to form polychloroethane. What do you use this for? You can use it in producing leather clothes for seat cover and the like. Then the last one here is polytetrafluoroethane. Uh, this can also be referred to as Teflon, and it is gotten when you have polymerization of uh, tetrafluoroethane to form polytetrafluoroethane. And what do you use this for? That is what you use in the production of a bread, stop cocks, and electrical insulators, and the like. Then the next, the next class of industry we have here is the food and beverage uh, industry. This is a type of industry that 
uses both chemical and biochemical reaction in producing food, preserving the food, enriching it, and also flavoring our food for our human consumption. An example of this industry is your, uh, your uni, uh, Unilever, those industries that are uh, like Nigerian breweries that helps in production of drinks of various uh, brands. Then the next one is cosmetic industry. Uh, what are cosmetics? Cosmetics are substances that are used to beautify the part of our body to hide facial blemishes, disguise grain of hair, and to also nourish the condition of our skin and our hair. Examples of cosmetics are your pomade, your perfume, your cream, your soap, and the likes. So any industry that produces these are referred to as is referred to as cosmetic industry. Then the next one is pharmaceutical industry. This is an industry that is concerned with the production of drugs like your paracetamol, your Novagen, aspirin, and so on and so forth. Now, what are the importance of chemical industries? Number one, every industry you see around you, we have a lot of people working there. That means it provides employment opportunity for people. And apart from that, it increases the purchasing power of people. If you have uh, money to buy bread, I think you should have money to get uh, butter. That is from food and beverages. So it helps in increasing the purchasing power of, uh, of man. Then it increases population. Whenever the population of an environment is, is increased due to chemical industry in such environment, there is tendency for such environment to be developed. Then it provides energy for foreign trade. Then lastly, it helps in improving our standard of living. That is why you see people putting on uh, different cosmetological uh, 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 materials like powder. You see them looking good on the street and in our, in our various homes. It's as a result of all these chemical industries. Then what are the problems associated with chemical industry? There is a major problem associated with chemical industry, and that is environmental pollution. Now, the major problem is pollution of the environment. Take for instance, the chemical waste you get from the industries and oil refineries can affect plants and animals. Take for instance, from the chemical industry you have some dangerous gas that can be emitted into the atmosphere which can affect living things and non-living things. The same thing is also applicable to oil refineries where you can see things like oil spillage which covers the surface of the water, thereby preventing a free flow of oxygen for the survival of the aquatic life. Then the second example here is radioactive waste from nuclear plants. All this chemical industry that produces uh, that produce radioactive waste, there's tendency for them to cause things like uh, cancer and some other likely diseases. Now, what are the factors affecting the location of chemical industry? Number one availability of raw material. The raw material you are using must be well and 100% available. Availability of power supply, that is electricity. Then access to labor supply, who are the people working for you? Nearness to labor supply is also one of those factors. Then good transport facility, do you have a good road leading to your chemical industry? That's another factor. Then nearness to market, how do you market your goods? Do you, are you so near to the customers buying your goods? Then lastly, we have nearness to water supply. That is why you see all, most of the chemical industry will always uh, be located very close to the river. Now, with this short video of mine, I believe you guys have been able to learn one or two things. And this is just a few among the many more things we are still going to discuss at the Google Classroom. As you watch this, I'll be expecting you at the Google Classroom. Thank you. God bless you.